at one. Out of all the futures I could have picked out of the birthday tray, I snatched the pen. I was destined to love writing at eight. I hate prompts from teachers, can't fit into their boxes. I'm too much start from my own scratching, not enough color inside the lines. I have word problems. <laughs> at ten, I love Seth. I tell him to his face with the biggest Kool-Aid smile on mine. He tells me, you'll get over it. <laughs> at 11, I love my English teacher. He gives me a reason to write anything on any surface and makes us draw our poetic licenses to do so. I draw a stick figure identification card and learn I hate drawing. He gives me a microphone in front of a packed house at the Walt Whitman birthplace at 16. I love Greg, but he loves her, but she's 12 and he's 21. It's so backwards. So I take back all my words and all my I love yous and all my things. He still has my virginity, though. At 17, I love Xavier, but so do all the other girls who will do things for him that I will not. At 18, I love any man with a creative hand. Their ability to shape the air around them amazes me, but I learned that this is admiration, not love. I love everything that I want David to be, but nothing that he is. The feeling is mutual when he realizes I will never be Jewish for him. <laughs> At 19, I love Andy, but he loves anything Asian and with alcohol. At 20, I love a man with two names who never went to college, whose hands are callous from never breathing between jobs. He says the most honest conversations are naked, and they are. At 20 and a half, I love someone who finally admits they like me and we're a beautiful disaster for four years. I miss naked conversations with the man with two names. My early 20s are a blur of misdirected Cupid arrows. It's not okay, Cupid, none of us match.com. At 26, I say to myself, you know, self, you kind of, sort of, maybe always like girls. You just never said it out loud before. At 26 and a half, I say it out loud, but she doesn't love me back. Lust becomes lifestyle, numb becomes natural. When I finally get fucked into fragile, I muster up the courage to stop, drop, and roll out of bed and say, self, I don't know what the hell love is, but I know with every fiber of my being that this is not what it looks like. At 27, I build my walls so high around me it is a struggle to hug anyone, even the ones I call family, because I'm so unsure of the ability of my arms to hold on to anything longer than a blink anymore. I have a dozen significant others, all of them are my sisters and brothers, but I'm single and like craft cheese, I'm so vulnerable outside of this package. I invest in heavy-duty bullshit detectors, deny dates, and I'm not as easily impressed anymore. I've suffered too many casualties from casual sleep, but I'm just trying to celebrate now that the war with my body and my heart is over. I meet a battle-scarred warrior turned mosaic, and when she speaks, I think I finally have an inkling of what love is. She is what it looks like. You know that thing called love, I think I'm in it. I have been out so long, feels like I'm living Like a fish who got the gills to breathe Like a heart that just learned how to beat Before you, I think I was just letting go Before us, what was love I didn't know Thank you.